Hello people of the internet. Wow, look at all these acrylic paint markers with brush tips. Now, <laughs> today I want to basically have a look at all of these. I want to look at, we've all seen these and we've all seen these. Well, but if you haven't seen these, then you're seeing them now. <laughs> these are the Artex acrylic paint markers which are the paint markers that recently came out um, that don't require shaking uh, so unlike other paint markers these don't, don't require shaking and this seemed to be the first set that came out and then this seemed to be the second set that came out and um, then there's also these which are also uh, acrylic paint markers that don't need shaking so I thought today I would swatch both of these sets now I'm, I'm going to do that uh, I'm going to do it and then bring the results into this video but I'm still going to film them so if you want to go and watch me swatching them there'll be uh, a separate video just because I know that not everyone likes watching the swatches and if you do you can go and watch it separately and if you don't we'll just do the comparison after so but i am going to swatch these two and then i'm going to pair, compare these ones these cheaper ones to it because price wise there's quite a variance these are 28 pounds 99 uk prices and the price that i paid for them or the price that they're available now uh, and there's 32 of them uh, there's 30 of these and these were 29 or are 29.99 that often can get them on a deal then there's these which are 25 of um and they're 12.99 <laughs> so that's uh quite a bit different price and then there's these two uh, which were 9.99 and 7.99 respectively but there's only 12 of those anyway that's what we're going to investigate today it is pen playtime yay all right so first things first Let's get to swatch in these. So let's compare them, both sets now. Okay, ooh, let's get the clunky bit off. They really are. Let's move them out of the way, bring you down a little bit. And uh, they are so... They are, these are a much more muted pastel set. I mean, look at these three here. There's nothing like this in this set. These two yellows look similar. So if I get the lemon yellow, the first one from the, from the dark set. Let's just see what it looks like alongside. Maybe a bit paler. Look here. Yeah. Yeah. You see that the yellow that I've just put next to it is a bit brighter than that yellow. More pop. Which other cover that colours look similar? Maybe mum pink and number nine. So mum pink. Let's do a wiggle all the way down like that. And see where mum pink looks like any of the other. Not really. See, it's a different pink. Okay, and then none of the blue. Well, bright blue and 14. So let's get bright blue. Which colour is bright blue? 71. Let's try bright blue against number 14. Mm, no. That that bright blue has got more green in it than that bright bright blue see them pink drying down there and that blue and that yellow you can really see that is a more vivid yellow these colors are definitely more muted whichever colors are similar uh, probably that green 24 and emerald green so emerald green 24 That's a deeper emerald green. I mean, they're both lovely greens, to be fair. They both look about as thick as each other. And then 
obviously the black, the silver. There really isn't really any browns in this one, only really that one. So this set, this set, interesting, isn't it? This set has got all this nice little sort of suite of browns, golden brown, light coffee brown, nut brown. And this set has just really got that number 19 there, which isn't anything like any of the others. So really these two sets are totally different. So you can happily have both sets and not feel guilty that you've uh, bought you know, a duplicate as it were. That olive green is much darker than that olive green. So that's good. So that's that's number one. You can happily have both sets and not feel like <laughs> you've um, you've duplicated. So I wonder why they changed from the, the dual tip to the to the single tip though. I wonder why they changed. Because I'm I prefer these but maybe it's more the, the barrels are more expensive. Okay, so that's the two Artex sets. So let's have a look now at these. Now these cost $7.99 for 12 colours. So if there was the same amount, if there was 24 would be a 16, 16 pound for 24 colours. But I'm going to put the maths here of how much it would cost for 30 pens. Because these are the pens that do actually look identical to these so if we grab that one there and that one there you can see the lids are identical make a pathway so we can see what we're doing Move down just a little bit so identical lids identical bases identical barrels so these acrylic paint markers look exactly the same as the Artex markers. So, let's have a look at the brush tips. Artex, non-Artex. Keep thinking of Artex, that old stuff that used to put on the walls, on the ceilings. Brush tips, they look identical. Doesn't look anything different about those. So, this is number three. So we're going to do it alongside and see whether it was the same colour. Put my Artex one back, hold that up, and it does look like exactly the same colour. All right, let's see if all the other colours match as well. So this one would be this one. Yep. I'm gonna put them in I'm gonna put them in here in the order that I'm doing them. Let's put the red one there. This will be the white. It's just white, it's hard to tell really. And this this would be the purple up here. Okay, I think the purple's different. Let me just move that one out of the way not to confuse things. The purple looks a bit lighter. Okay, and we've got this weird colour, which I think might be yeah, similar to that weird colour. We've got a pink. Which pink is this? Well, it's got the same colour lid as the middle pink which it is this is interesting isn't it put that there put that there put that there go with the blue next now this blue it's got the same blue lid as the third blue so it'd be this one am i showing it yeah so it's got the same lid same color lid as that artix so it does look a bit darker, but it is not dry yet. Okay, and we've got this colour, which is the same colour. Looks like the same colour as that one. Is the same colour as that one, or is it? Is it the same colour as that one? No, 
exactly the same colour as that one there, which is the one just before the greys. So is it that one? Interestingly, that purple has dried down now, and they are very similar. And that is very similar. We've got that green, which is the same as the second down green. Lid colour, I mean. Then we have this brown. I'm oh, just going to go with comparing it to that brown because it's the only brown on there. Then we have a grey, which lid wise looks like the last one. It is. And black. So, <laughs> that's interesting. These pens in this box, linked down below, for $7.99 are exactly the same, same bodies, same pens, same nibs, same feeling, same everything, as the ones in this set of Arctic Artex acrylic markers but obviously you get 30 colours in here for around £30 unless you get them on the deal and 12 colours in here for £7.99 pen wise price wise individually these are 66p and these are 99p same pens same pens it's just that these are only in 12 colours and these are in 30 colours so if you fancy the Artex and you can't afford them and you want a taste of them by them. Okay, let's have a look at the these ones now, the Guangna, which were $9.99 for 12. So these are okay, they don't come in the tray. They, they come loose. They have um, so they're a little bit more expensive because obviously $9.99 for 12. They have a silver and gold in these, which none of the other ones that I've tried have. So let us see what they come out like. Oh, <laughs> that is quite nice for a silver and quite nice for a gold. They are quite nice metallics. Let's compare them because last week I did a review of the Artex metallic paint pens. Let's compare them to a silver gold in here. Is there a silver and gold in here? I don't think there is. That's the silverish E1. And maybe that one for the gold. That's more of a bronze. Ah, wow. Let's try that one. No. Those they are just as a metallic. The silver and gold that's come in this 99 set are different even still to the silver and the the silverishy goldy ones in the Artex metallic markers. All right. So let's find some matching colours and let's have a look at comparing the pens as well. So, do they have numbers on them? No. So, richer colours and fine. They've just got one tip, the same as the other, which is a brush. They're a shorter pen, they're a different body, so they're not the same as the Artex and the other one's body. Tip wise, they have a smaller. They have a smaller tip, so they do, oh look I've got paint over everything, they have a smaller tip, so let's see colour wise how they compare, that feels so similar to the colour of the light yellow, no actually I thought we did but it didn't. Nope, now it's dried. It's pretty much the same colour, sorry. But to get wait to the 
now it's dried they all look like the same color okay so that's the yellow it's difficult to do the white because it's just not a very good white paint pen then we've got this murky brown color which i have a feeling is going to be the same as that or maybe that let's blend it down maybe it's different Look different, and we've got red, green. It's going to be one of these. There we go. Um, blue. I'm going to go with this one. Purple. Oh, that's a different purple. These have got. This has got a couple of other different colours in it. That one or that one is that one. Yeah, definitely that one. And then this colour, where is this going to sit? Oh, it's dry. It's got it's literally got nothing in it at all. Ah, that's why. It's got a crack in it. So obviously whatever has in it. Oh, ooh. Shall we have a look what's in it? The end is open. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, let's see what's in it. I need tweezers. Mm. I bought myself a new pair of eyebrow, eyebrow tweezers after messing up my other ones. And now I'm using these to look at the inside of a pen. No, it's not going to come out, I don't think. It's difficult, I'm trying to see. Nothing going to come out, is there? Is it moving? Whatever that is in there is dry. Put that back on okay so these ones these gong -gong ones the benefit of these is they had a really nice silver and gold in them color wise you get the same pretty much that's a different brown that's a different purple as the other set but as you can see oh there's one more we missed one we missed the black Might as well do it. Compare the three blacks. It's so weird, isn't there? For so many years, there's been acrylic paint pens, and then they've suddenly brought out these non shakeable, non needing to be shaped pens. And suddenly there's been, you know, a big rush of the same sort of. Oh, it's probably because one company has learned how to manufacture them and all the others are, are, you know, doing it the same way. Are basically using the same factory and just putting different bodies on them. Okay, let's put those back in there. Not recommending those. I mean, if you want a cheap set, I'll go for the other set that I just reviewed. Okay, let's have a look at the next set. Now that's these. There's 25 of these and these cost 12 99 so these are really cheap. Uh, it says acrylic paint pens and these have got a different tip. <laughs> these look like... Let's just get them all out. There we go. Let's put them in some kind of colour order. White, yellow. Gold and silver, actually. Light brown, black. That's a prus oh! I just said that's a Prussian blue. As I said that, it made me wonder. I wonder if they're the same as the other Artex ones. Okay, so let's have a quick look at these. These don't have a brush tip. These have this big fat round sort of bullet tip let's try them there's two yellows here so is that the same as that color are these going to be the same as the artex 
Oh, they are going to be the same as the Arctics. These Arctics, because look, there was two yellows there. There was that one. I think whoever's invented the the mix, the formula for these, has sold it to... <laughs> oh, now I want to match them perfectly. Is this going to be this one? Oh. My word. What next? I don't want to mess it up. Mm, that one feels like it's dry. It's either dry or very light. Ah, see, I haven't got a lilac one next. Next one is a sort of apricot. That's where things go. Is it that one? Yes. Then we've got a red. Could be that one. Yes. Oops, just throw that one at myself. Is this gonna be this one? This one, maybe. Mm. We've got this bright pink. Is it gonna be this one? Oh, not quite. Similar, but not quite. Oh, really. Prussian blue, we know it's going to be that. Prussian blue. That one's going to be that violet blue. By the way, these have got no names on them. They just say acrylic paint pen. But they have clearly got the same formula of... Um, paint that you don't need to shake in them. Bright blue, light blue, sky blue. God, look at the order I'm getting this in. Bang on. Dark blue. <laughs> Makes me think that the Artex products are overpriced a little bit. Right, I've got four greens. I think that's going to be that green. It is. That's going to be that green. It is. That's going to be that green. It is. And that's going to be that green. And it is. Not got not got the beautiful emerald emerald green. And then what we got here? We got golden yellow. Yep. Then we've got this one maybe, nut brown. Yeah. <laughs> the lids match quite well. I'm picking the right colours. Okay, dark coffee. This one. Mm, that one seems a little bit lighter, doesn't it? Maybe it's just not quite so opaque. This one I think is going to be gold. No, it's not. It's golden brown. Golden brown. This one is silver. Is it silver, silver? No. And then black. Oh, and there's a white as well, so we'll do that in a second. I'm just going to do it there because there's a bit of white, a bit of black to cover up there. Okay, so for $12.99, you get 24 pens, and they are, although they don't have a proper brush tip, colour wise, They're not as nice as using the brush tip. You can see the sort of scrapey, scrapey lines, but bear in mind they're less than half price, twelve ninety nine compared to twenty. What, what were the old Artex ones? Twenty nine ninety nine, twenty eight ninety nine, something like that. Yeah, I mean they're a bit, they're a bit. The the Artex brush mechanism is nicer, but colour wise, formula wise, whatever's inside the barrel. Is, exact, is exactly the same. So, there you go. That was a pen comparison of all these weirdy new paint pens that are on the market. And, um, yeah. 
it pays you money, you take your choice. If you like these acrylic, Artex acrylic ones, these are a smaller set, just the same. So if you can't afford to buy the 30 and you just want to try them, buy those. These are lovely with the dual tip, colour wise. They're exactly the same as those. Formula wise, they're exactly the same as those, which are a lot cheaper. And these are pretty much the same across the board. They're all the same inside is the answer. I guess it's all to do with the marketing, isn't it? You know, Artex has really got some good marketing going on. They can sell these for 30 pounds. I don't know. At the end of the day, you pay your money, you take your choice. If you want some acrylic markers, hopefully this gave you some food for thought. All right, take care everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye.